Good afternoon, everybody, and what you, I'm pleased to see so many people who've turned out. Obviously, you're very interested in the outcome of these elections. The past few weeks, I've uh, spent quite a bit of time calling round different regions and different counties, chairman and council advisers, to get an understanding of the issues that members face in their areas. And I think, by and large, most of those issues are what are faced throughout all of the country. I think we've become very familiar with TB, greening issues, CAP reform, and particularly now, more topically, flooding. <coughs> For those that haven't heard of me or met me, it was my determination and passion that was instrumental in the kickstarting the Dairy SOS campaign. I uh, uh, insisted on having a, a, a mass farm meeting. Eventually, it was decided we were going to have it at Stafford, and within 20 hours' warning, we managed to get 600 dairy farmers mobilised at the showground there, and that led later to the meeting that we had in London. And I think that was quite an achievement, quite an achievement for the union, and, and it actually won and <coughs> took along uh, great public support. But it also actually made uh, the whole campaign was a successful campaign. <coughs> it made the retailers sit up and think, and it also made politicians sit up and think, and that was absolutely vitally important. I was previously involved in local government. I had a reputation of scrutiny and quiet determination. Uh, I'm not one of those that takes can't do as an answer. I tend to scrutinise decisions and get in underneath things to try and make things better and improve things. I'm not one that accepts the status quo. I believe that regulation doesn't produce food. It doesn't look after the countryside. Regulation, regulation isn't about productivity, and it definitely isn't about profitability. Yes, we need some regulation, but I think that we need a reality check with what we've got. This morning we've had an announcement by the Prime Minister that he's removed 800 rules and regulations from small businesses. And I understand that maybe half a dozen have been removed from agriculture. But I think we need to take a check and sit down and look at what we've actually had to take on board this last 20 years and what it's actually done to the industry as a whole. Many family farms and farm businesses are cash starved and some are surviving on the breadline, needing vital investment to help improve productivity. To displace food imports and to meet the challenges of a growing nation, we need the confidence to make vital investment decisions on our farms. We also need to look at innovative ways of actually attracting investment to our farms. I think there's other ways of actually enabling people to, to meet those challenges. Okay, David, Thank you very much.